Lamte now stands on the pinnacle of his career, being part of the Black Stars in Ivory Coast for the upcoming Africa Cup of Nations. But the road was never easy. Lamte's story is woven with threads of hard work and dedication. In the serene corners of his infancy, Lamte's passion for the beautiful game became apparent. In Accra, he would hold a ball in front of him as he crawled. When he began to walk, he would hold my finger and drag me along while chasing the ball. Then I realized he had passion for football. Transitioning from those quiet corners, Lamte embarked on a trajectory that shaped his skills. After joining Firenod Academy in Pram Pram, he later signed for Wafa before finding his footing at Inter Allies. When he arrived at Inter Allies, he was a little bit raw. So we had to teach him uh, being a midfield player, playing as a central player. I think you have to advance more so that you get, you get hold of the ball and uh, you can make some goals. You know, as a midfield player, if you cannot make goals, it means uh, you, you, your talent is being reduced. So I, he experienced so many things for me. I have to teach him how uh, he will spread the ball, he will, as a midfielder, how you spread the ball to your strikers to score. And uh, from Italia, I think he moved to Ashantiko Doko and he has now become a finished product. The Porcupines, recognizing Lamte's prowess, secured him on a three-year deal in September 2021. His impact was immediate, playing a pivotal role in Kotoko clinching the Premier League title for the first time since 2014. Then, the narrative took a somber turn. A match-fixing scandal involving Inter-Allies and Ashanti Gold led to a 30-month ban imposed by the Ghana Football Association's Disciplinary Committee threatening to derail Lamte's promising journey. At the time, I felt immense sadness that such an innocent child was banned. I was deeply concerned about what he was going to do. He wasn't answering my calls, and I feared he might harm himself. He was not mentally stable. The setback was significant for him. You know, it, it, it kills his morale, it kills everything that he got from him as a player, you know. When you, when you have that moments in your career as a player, you know, it demoralizes you. Sometimes you want to quit football because it's a disgrace. Your name goes to the whole everywhere in the world that you have been banned, you are you know, you are you are match fixing and Asan Tikotoko took up the mantle, passionately pursuing justice at the court of arbitration for sports. When the issue came up, we heard that PFAG had filed um, a case on behalf of the play of, of the players at the court of arbitration for sports. We took the list. I, I, as an administrative manager, first of all went into the issue, saw that Richmond's name had been omitted. And so I informed the CEO at the time, um, Nanaya Hamponsa, I informed him that unfortunately Richmond's name is um, out. And then he told me that, uh, Ima, we have to do the case for the boy. I said, once he agrees, uh, we should do it. Then I told him the cost implications and all that if we are filing the case then he said no problem we should do it for the boy the unwavering pursuit of justice bore fruit after 363 days leading to an overwhelming sense of relief it was the very day the 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 verdict came out the very day the verdict came out i've never seen a human being scream that way i mean i've not seen a human being scream that way Fortunately, when the verdict came out, I was in a cry. I was in Kumasi, I was in a cry. When the verdict came out, I was with the CEO at the time. And um, 
we were together when the verdict came out and, and he was screaming takrobaha oti akunwa so ha yana yete se omoye yi ne firo mu nyina so one day he came here seated on a chair and we heard that the ban was lifted he shed tears of joy on so am papa ujire pinti se bo na no bo Yes, Lamptey now. He's got space in front of him. Tries to catch through. Here's a video. That was a mistake. Thank you, play from Asante from Topo. After a string of stellar performances that propelled Kotoko to third place in the ongoing season, just three points below league leader Samatex, Lamptey reached a turning point in his career. <laughs> Hey, me da fo munu munu me ho. I was extremely excited about Black Stars collab. We thank God. Munu me ho, me da fo me me munu munu me ho. Enti enyami ayadi. Uh, it's a hana, it's a hana, and it feels good. Um, I'm very happy. And first of all, I would like to thank uh, Asante Kotoko, uh, his royal majesty, Otun Force 82, and uh, the past and present management and the supporters and my teammates. Lamte is currently in Abidjan with his teammates in preparation for Ghana's opener against Cape Verde on Sunday. Many eagerly await the chance to see him feature and showcase his abilities on the grand stage of African football. We just pray that. He gets his time to showcase his talent. Uh, whatever be the case, he will be lamping. I I just pray and hope that uh, he stays well, very healthy. When you give Lamte that opportunity, he's going to spread the ball out. He's going to join attack and uh, 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 make goals for Naki Williams and and uh, all the strikers to score. If I always difficult for attackers to get at the end of it because the least contact with the goalkeeper is a foul. Awesome! Brilliant goal! It's the Allies approaching the deadlock. Which was An absolute pitch of a goal scored at a Crossport Stadium against Hearts of Oak marked Richmond's rise into the limelight. The ban by the FA's disciplinary committee threatened to dim the light but to no avail. It's a testament of his ability to turn pain into purpose, set back into a comeback, personifying the never give up spirit, which could inspire other footballers. Haruna Mubarak for Joy Sports.